Hey guys, welcome to Programming Knowledge. As discussed in the last tutorial, we have created a window using this code, using the mentioned code over here. So, by using this code, we are going to add on a button inside the window. Let's go, let's start off by creating the, like, by writing down the code. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to use the Q push button, which is, which is we are going to import the Q push button from PyQt5.Qt widgets. Then what we are going to do next to self dot geometry will create a variable called button variable or object called button and inside the button we are going to use the Q push button which we have imported then and inside the brackets parenthesis or parenthesis we are going to provide a name for this button let's say I'm going to provide Pi QT5 button. Here we go. We have defined the button name. The next step, what we are going to do is we are going to also use the self keyword. So we have created the button. Now we are going to use this button and by using the set tool tip, we are going to provide a name which is let's say this is an example button here we go we have defined it the next step what we are going to do is we are going to again use the button by using the dot move inside that we are going to provide a value of 100 comma 70 so we have set a tooltip and uh, we have also used the move and followed by once creating a button is done an, an action needs to be performed here in this tutorial, I'm going to do an action where whenever a user clicks on the button, a text should be displayed. For example, when I'm clicking on the button of PyQt5, what will happen? Uh, it will show it as PyQt5 button clicked. So I'm going to do that. For doing that, first we need to uh, use the button which we have created, followed by a dot operator, and we need to use uh, clicked and also we need to use dot and use the connect so inside the parenthesis what we are going to do we are going to define the method name in which uh, the method should contain the message which is pi uh, pyqt5 button clicked so before that what we are going to do is like we are going to use the self dot show is already written so we are going to create that method that needs to be defined over button dot click dot connect inside the parentheses. For doing that, we need a PyQt slot. So in order to do that, we are going to import the PyQt slot from PyQt5 dot Qt core importing in small letters PyQt slot and I'm going to use this at PyQt slot and inside this PyQt slot I'm going to define the method which is on underscore click and uh, inside that I'm, I'm using the self one now here we go we have defined it so inside this on underscore click what I'm going to do I'm going to provide my PyQt5 button clicked message so here we go we have defined the PyQt5 button click message over here now the main method has been defined and uh, all the stuffs have been defined let's now make some changes in width and height to make sure that we get a uh, required as expected let's say 320 and 200 i'm going to keep that and also okay so we have defined everything now let's go ahead and run the program and uh, check for the required output now I'm going to run the program. Let's go ahead and run the program. 
So here we go. We have got the output of PyQt5 button. And uh, as you can see, as per the code, we have got the output, which is PyQt5 button inside the simple window. And uh, like one more thing needs to be done, which is the button dot click dot connect and self dot on click. Like whenever I'm clicking on the button, PyQt5 button click should be displayed. So let's now go ahead and run this one. Here we go. Whenever I'm clicking on the button, as you can see, a message is displayed, and that is coming from definition on click of cell, uh, cell uh, on click definition on click method. So here we go. Whenever I'm clicking on the button, it's coming in. Along with that, this is a window which we have defined, and uh, this is the title which we have defined PyQt5 button over here. Earlier, we had defined simple window in the last program. So in this program, we have defined PyQt5 button. So this is how the program will work. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining with programming knowledge. We'll see you in other tutorials with uh, other stuff like uh, creating a text boxes and uh, performing certain operations on it. So bye guys. Have a good day.